All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to what I guess is another attempt. I was going to just wrap it up on the last video, but there's just something about this game that just wants me to get a different ending. I know I'm not going to try to get all five, but we're going to continue with shift four. After doing a little bit of research on the endings on how to get them, apparently I guess I was close to getting one with the basement ending. I guess there's one where you can just let your sanity overwhelm itself and then you just get like a, a game over ending, which I don't care about. And apparently there is an ending with, I guess, the closure ending of Rebecca, which I guess you're supposed to find sobriety coins. So... Um, I guess there's sobriety coins. Ah, I didn't even think to look in these drawers. Is there anything else we can move? I guess there's sobriety, like two sobriety coins or something along those lines. There's the keys. Uh, we've looked at this, but there was nothing there. There's the coffee. Inside the cups, maybe. No. Can't grab the kettle. Uh, I don't know if there's, like, something... Okay. Can't grab anything in there. Can't grab it other than just this can. Can't open the bathroom. So, where... Would some sobriety coins be? I can't. I don't have my clipboard. Can't get up there unless they're up here, and I'm just not seeing them. anything in these drawers. There's nothing in that drawer. Can't do anything in that drawer. Oh! There we go. There's the dad sobriety coin. There's the 10 year sobriety coin. And the dad's necklace. Love you, dad. There we go. Okay, we found the sobriety coins. So, <laughs> apparently we're supposed to continue with the shift and pick the correct body and the correct sigils. Okay. Which still can be difficult to do. I guess I don't really need the recorder. Okay. Get started with our shift. At least I can keep track of things. Get these things open. Get our letting strip. Let's get the, uh... Uh, the access code. Seven four three one. Seven four three one. Oh, what? Why are they in here? That's really weird. Huh. 
Okay. Seven, four, three, one. Enter. Go to here. So, also after doing some research, apparently the only way to get the, uh, I guess the basement ending is, it's just a series of, like, cutscene events, which is essentially what I had, which is getting the code to this thing. Now, I don't know if this still works. I don't know if I get the same... Oh. So the hatch key is still the same. Okay. Okay, well we can close all those. We don't need any of that. We got all that. We'll get these open. So we've got an Austin Gincott, a Dakota Beaver, and a Jake Kohler. Okay. Of the endings, by the way, is you in here with the guy looking at you. Oh, you can't even interact with this at all. Interesting. Wow, you can't literally do anything with it. Oh, a standard cassette tape. I didn't find that I'm last missing time. Something. This is Raymond Delver. I I know this will sound crazy, but I believe I am being possessed. If I am to disappear, know that it was not of my own free will, and that I am a danger to anyone I may encounter. I should be killed on sight. This sounds, sounds terrible, but the woman locked in the basement must also be killed. For anyone that may encounter this, if you are experiencing possession, the blood of the possessed will react to the name of the demon present. Injecting the blood of the possessed into a deceased body with demonic tendency will act as a reagent for revealing possession form the foundation for binding the demon to the body. Then it can be marked with its name and burned. This should banish the demon. I'm sorry for what I've had to do. Know that it was only ever done to stop it all. Okay. Alright, well I guess we'll get started then. So, <clears throat> in essence, we should be getting different interactions as well in this uh, final playthrough that we're going to give it a, a whirl on. Alright. Uh, rotate. Nothing. We got something on his arm. Okay. Definitely got something on his face. Okay. What about the other side? Nothing. We got something on his chest here. Let's rotate. Nothing. We got something on the arm and the leg. Oh. 
Oh, there must be something on the hand, too. Wait, what? Oh, the foot. There we go. There we go. Okay. Austin, 36. We've got a head. We've got a left shoulder. We've got a right arm. And then a left arm. And then a right leg. And then a left leg. One, two, three, four, five, six. Submit. Okay, well, we've got the sobriety coin, so if we can do this correctly, we should be able to get a closure ending to, to complete this. to write this down again so I can keep track of this. So this one is the symbol that looks like this. Little slash going down and then the little circle. Okay. Got it. Embalming report. We'll grab our next letting strip here. And then we are going to need our needle injector, settings, needles, and a oops. Oh my goodness. And a pack of eye caps. And we've got to keep track as to which one of these guys is giving us the most like demonic like activity. There we go. All right. Okay. Another thing you can do is you can forget to put in this uh, baleful reagent as well. That's how you can get a bad ending. Oh! Good God, that's new. now on the door. Okay, so the next one is that J-looking thing. I'm just writing it down. Okay. Well, we're getting a lot of activity already on this first guy. So... <coughs> uh, oh, that's what I was working on. What do I have so far? Nothing. So I need to get the scalpel. Artery forceps. And the tubing. Okay. starting to get different drawings. Okay. Now we need 
need the IV bags. The fluid. Control car. I'm slowly learning all the procedures. Sometimes I gotta look at the clipboard. I'll forget where I'm at. If a lot of events aren't happening, it distracts me. There we go. Okay, now we should have to go clean. Yep, we gotta do the cleaners and apply the moisturizer. I don't know what the point of the uh, fuse box is. It's never done anything. Or the matches, for that matter. Don't know what the matches are for. Grab our moisturizing wipe, and we wait. Actually, I gotta go open that door real quick. Okay, so this guy's done. So I got quite a bit of activity on this guy. The first guy. Quite a bit of activity on the first guy. Next one is Dakota Beaver. Uh, okay. Even though this is my seventh video, this is still like very like on edge. Very uneasy. Alright. It just saved. I wonder if something's about to happen. Okay, so there's that one. Okay, we got a shoulder. Scratches on the hand. Looks like we got something on the shin here. And then we got something on the forearm. Okay. Oh, I missed it on that foot. There we go. Got it. Okay. Entry number two. Dakota Beaver. 38. We got a head. A right shoulder. A right arm. A left arm. A right leg. And a left leg for a total of one, two, three, four, five, six. And submit. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Go file this. the embalming process so as of now that mark is still there I like to check because if they're gone if it's empty that means it was a fake mark to try and learn the demons name oh god no oh, things are changing already I feel like things are moving way faster. My pockets are full. Oh, your pockets are full. 
Alright, you know what? We'll drop the matches. We'll just remember they're right there. I don't know what the matches are for. I've yet to even see anything to do with them just yet. Agent. Open this. Put that in. Put that in. Oh! Good God. I'm missing something. Oh. Place. I'm missing something. What are we missing? Okay. Can't get. Oh, good God. That was not okay. Not okay. All right, did I just see something? My heroin kit. Is that all we needed? an intense episode. Wow. Well, that was a pretty big event. That mark is still there. That mark is still there. Do we have another mark? Okay, so it's this one. I gotta write this one down now. So it's like a, like a seven looking thing with a swirl on the end of it. Okay. Grab our letting strip. So we've got three of the letters so far. Uh, formaldehyde. Is that this one? No. Is that this one? Yep. And then the methanol. Got it. And then we'll need our tube. Scalpel. Three letters so far. The first guy was pretty active, but now this guy is pretty active as well on things happening. I 
IV bag, fluid, patrol car. We just gotta clean it and moisturize. Every time I round a corner, I'm just waiting for something. I'm just always nervous. That's why I kind of stand in this corner. So I just kind of hope that, you know, nothing can show up behind me. All right. Okay, so this guy is now done. Bodies out. I hundred percent put this guy away, right? Right? Yeah, I did. This guy's really giving me the creeps. everything our third and final entry Jake Kohler 51 years of age looks like we've got a uh, left leg a right leg a right arm and a left arm for a total of four one two three and four submit <laughs> is still there. That mark is still there. Okay, all the marks are still there.
This one's actually kind of tough. I'm not sure which one is the demon yet. There we go. Because the first one gave us... They, the first and second one both gave us creepy things. All right. God, he snapped his fingers. Lights are off. <gasps> what? Oh! Um, dude. There's no light switch in there. Oh! <laughs> Antidepressants. Medication used to treat depressive disorder and some anxiety. Rebecca Owens. 300 milligrams take once a day with food. Is this casket? Oh, I can. Okay. Oh, wow, I can just kind of wander around here. Can I open up any of these doors? Oh. Okay. That doesn't go anywhere. Oh, didn't realize I could open this door. Oh, there's keys. Keys to the high risk wing. Okay, that's what we were looking for. She's got her sobriety coin. I can't use that here. I can't I can't use that here. <sighs> 
five year sobriety coin. And a dad's necklace. Ten year sobriety coin. Life is better without me. I love you. I'll be all right. This is really depressing. Can I put another coin in her hand, maybe? I can't use that here. I can't use that here. I can't use that here. Oh. So when I did the research on this, it said I was supposed to put the coins, I think, in her hands. So I don't know if I just didn't do it right or... So that mark is still there. That mark is still there. Okay, all the marks are still here. We now know the demon's name. into the database here start with uh, immolation so we know we've got actually I think it's Balmet right off the bat we have this one we have the seven with the little circle thing we have the J with the slashes no we don't actually we're looking for something different actually which symbol was it again that we're missed the one that I wrote down it's like a, a swirly C looking thing with a thing off the end of it okay my drawing does not look anything like what okay so there's the the J There's the circle. Wait, did it change? No, it didn't. I just drew it really crappy. So it is the circle thing with the dot on top. Okay, I just drew it really bad. Oops. Okay, so this circle, the seven with the thing. So it's ball met. Okay, so we need the percentage and then the J. Then the J. Okay. And then we need the circle on the right and then the other seven thing on the left. go that's our mark that's the uh, that's the demon's name oh good god mm. all right formaldehyde and methanol we were still working on this Tubing. Am I 
My only issue is now is all three of these guys have given us uh, like something. So how do I know which one? That's the question. All three of them have given us something. This one's tough. Oops. Oh, yep. Things are going bad really fast now. Okay. Let's hurry up. We're going to have to be really quick on this. Need a troll car. Yeah, that drawing is going really fast now. Hello? Rebecca, it's me. It's your grandma. Oh, no. I need you to let me in, sweetie. No. Wait, what? Can I? No, I can't. Do. Don't you love your grandma? Can I continue with my work? She's gonna get angry. Let me, you little bitch! That still just never gets any easier. See, even this guy's things are going on. Cleaners, do the moisturizing. So I wonder if I can put the mark on each person and see what it does so I can get a better idea as to who it is. Right? All right. So what if I put it on this guy and see what happens? Okay, we got the mark. I see that one down there is still there. This one is still there. Still the same. He didn't react to this at all. Oh, God. Oh, God. If I take the mark off. Can you stop? Please. Stop that. Stop! Uh, You're wrong, you know. What? said we're wrong. Obviously, you know, he's not going to tell us the truth. Can I pull this guy out and put a mark on him? I can't use that here. No, I'm going to have to 
bring him down. one what if I put it back on the first guy again this guy this was the one that talked to me I'm actually kind of stumped here. We know the name. Okay. Covered language. I don't know. I'm really at a loss here. As to which one it could be. This guy's got a mark on his forehead now. Wait, they all do. Wait a minute. It's like three claws going down. Do any of them have that? This one does. We're gonna burn this guy. This is the one. We're doing it. I hope this is it. I hope this is it. Let this be it. different unless it just bugged out maybe you've come a long way it's nice not to be the one down there for a change <sighs> mr. Dover I think you can just call me Raymond at this point do you always just pass out and wake up on the floor it takes a lot out of you I've never simply walked out of here after you get used to it I'll be sure to clean the floors better. 
Raymond, will this ever end? I honestly don't know. I've been doing this a long time, Rebecca. I've traveled all over, learning everything I can. I've never found anything that could put a stop to it. So no, I don't think it does. So, we're just like this forever? It was hard for me too. But this is the life we get. We have to face our worst selves, constantly. But the better we know ourselves, the stronger we are. Why don't you head home? Get some rest. Who knows what's coming tonight? Ah, we got ending two of five. Well, we have now officially got endings one, two, and three. So endings four and five are going to be the basement ending. And then the closure ending. So, but that is officially my last one. Uh, I do uh, hope you guys enjoyed the Mortuary Assistant. This was actually a pretty fun and decent game. I'm glad that I was able to get at least a different ending for you guys. But um, if you guys would like to check out some of the other endings, I'm sure there's some other YouTube videos that shows you what the closure ending looks like and then the, uh, the basement ending. Basically, the basement ending is just him, you inside that box in the basement and then him shutting the door. And then if you let yourself get fully, you know, possessed, the shift just ends and the game ends and then you start back over. And the closure ending is you uh, putting the coins in her hands, apparently. And then, you know, it kind of goes from that point. But if you guys want to officially see those, they're probably up on YouTube somewhere by now. But hope you guys enjoyed the Mortuary Assistant as much as I did. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you guys in the next game. Have a wonderful day.